there's a particular Persian neighbor that the Prophet ﷺ had, and he used to make a really good broth, a really good soup. And he used to give it to the Prophet ﷺ sometimes, and Rasulullah ﷺ loved it. So because he knew that the Prophet ﷺ liked this very particular broth, he goes to the Prophet ﷺ and he says, Ya Rasulullah, come to my house and eat some of my soup. The Prophet ﷺ, he has Aisha radiallahu anha. He says, Wahadi, can she come too? He said, no. So SubhanAllah, the next day, he comes to the Prophet ﷺ and he invites the Prophet ﷺ again for soup. The Prophet ﷺ said, can my wife come? He says, no. The Prophet ﷺ said that I'm okay. I don't want to come. So the third time, he invites the Prophet ﷺ over to his house. And after he invites the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet ﷺ says, Wahadi, can I bring my wife? And he says, okay. The Prophet ﷺ says, okay, we're coming. And Imam Nawi, rahimahullah, he comments on this. He said that the Prophet ﷺ disliked attending a special meal without Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. So if you're inviting the Prophet ﷺ, you invite his wife as well. And this was, again, a very unique way of the Prophet ﷺ showing the consideration that he had for his family, alayhi salatu wasalam, in a society that really was not used to that.